<laughs> Good morning. It's Saturday. Saturday's the best day. Uh, today is the unofficial start of uh, spring rugby season for the Clark County Chiefs Rugby Club. And in fine tradition of rugby in the Battleground Washington area, we're going to have a polar plunge. It was started by Andre de Klerk. A long time ago, which is a credit to rugby in our community, probably 15 years ago, we did it for the solstice. Andre is crazy South African and jumping in ice cold water in our beloved East Fork of the Lewis River is what we're going to do. So what goes with rugby? Food. So today I'm going to bring down a big pot of jambalaya, um, box jambalaya. This is basically going to be one pot, except for I'm going to do a little, little lovely, uh, you know, little add-ons to make it. A little, little special, a little better, but uh, I'm gonna broil off some chicken. I'm just gonna put a little olive oil on it. And I'm just gonna put, this might be the only seasoning I'm gonna put on this whole jambalaya because we got seasoned sausage, we got xanaran, that's gonna have plenty of seasoning in it. And um, we'll just check it at the end. And so this is just some uh, Creole seasoning. Give it a nice dash of that. Real easy, and this is going in. So I'm gonna roast that, roast that off real quick. Um, I've already got. I saved you my horrible knife skills this morning. The Holy Trinity: bell peppers out of our garden, onions and celery. If you're making any kind of food inspired by the South, or if you're from down south, this is what you start with. So we're gonna sweat those off, and then just uh, your sausage, your protein. Um, the more the better when you're feeding a rugby club, you want to uh, feed them well. So if we jump in the water, we're going to have a big barbecue and we're going we're gonna to show you all the glory details of that a little, uh, later on. And uh, this morning also, we got a new uh, espresso machine. Um, we are going to make some very strong coffee because there ain't nothing better than start the morning with some great strong coffee. So uh, we're going to do some... Flat white inspired coffee. Rainy's first go around and using this bad boy, so we're gonna see how it goes. We'll see you in a bit. Okay, so I did one trial run. Uh, didn't make too much of a mess, though I did clean up a little bit, to be honest. So there was some, <laughs> it's not as uh, pretty. I tried to put a little design on the top, but. Um... It looked like a nuclear warhead or something <laughs> similar. <laughs> yeah. So I'm using um, the world's strongest coffee the espresso roast. Um, I blended it, or ground it, I guess is the word, uh, for like 14 seconds. I got my milk in here, it's just regular whole milk. And then I'm making a double shot. So let's get started. All right, so we're gonna put like two of these in. And I actually put too much in last time because I thought you were supposed to fill it to the top, but apparently, no. No, there's nothing wrong. That <laughs> coffee was great. <laughs> um, because when I put it over into the machine, it actually wouldn't twist because I had too much in there. So I'm going to press it down. That looks about right. It's amazing. So it's it like smells a amazing. So now I'm going to put it into the machine. And by the way, guys, it would take about five trips to Starbucks to buy one of these. So why not just get it at home and do it at home? So, okay, so we have it in here. There's water in the back. Um, you're going to put a coffee cup here. And then on the front, you can either do a single shot or a double shot. The double shot, it comes out both, it, but you could technically have two cups up here and do the double, we'll the double, double up, up if you wanted single shots. So here it goes. I've already got some milk kind of froth, but I'll probably froth it a little bit more. Uh, it's early morning. Everyone needs to smell this right now. So because we're doing a flat, what's it called, a flat white? A or, flat white. Um, it calls for the least amount of frothiness on the top. 
so you're supposed to just basically, um, I'm turning it to the steaming function, but you're basically just supposed to get the milk warm. It takes a second. There it goes. It's still going. So what you do is once you get it nice and fluffy, then you kind of want to knock back the foam a little bit. That's probably good enough. And like any good coffee person, you want to clean your spout. <laughs> okay, so then you kind of like knock the foam down. Now, if you were making a latte or a cappuccino, you'd want the most amount of the foam as possible, but the flat white, you don't. Now, Dal wanted to try the flat white. There we go. There's my design. <laughs> I don't know what it looks like today or right now on this one. Hey, it's her second time. <laughs> All right, mom, give it a try. Okay, let's see. Mmm, strong. Gonna get you going. <laughs> yeah. All right, All on right. to the jambalaya. Okay, so starting the jambalaya. Basically, it can be one pot now. I just browned that off in the coffee the coffee's working good <laughs> brown it off i want to get that color on it just to add a little flavor i'm just going to chop that up and add it at the end it'll cook all the way through um, we got our saved up um, bacon fat here so this is not exactly following the instructions i'm actually kind of going in the spirit I may just say throw it in and get it all done but i'm adding some veg i'm adding the trinity so i'm going to uh do it just a little different. So the first thing I'm gonna do, um, my love affair with jambalaya starts and ends with La Vista Montage in Portland. You've heard me talk about it in the videos. By far, it was my favorite restaurant the first time I had jambalaya. It was spicy, it was filling, it had all the protein, but one of the things I love about jambalaya is, and it's kind of weird, it's kind of funny, is the textures and one of the best textures for me is celery. So out of my Trinity over there, we're hot, we're hot, let's go. So I'm gonna put this in first. I wanna get the, some some color off of this. You know, get your fawn building in the bottom of your pan. I use my spoon to stir this up, start getting my excess bacon grease. Don't need much, cause this is gonna produce some of its own grease. And then I'm gonna add the vegetable because I do want some texture, not only but what's gonna cook down because once you put your rice in, seven cups of water, it's gonna simmer down for probably 40 minutes and then it's gonna be done. But then I'm gonna save a little celery for the end to add it to the top, just so when you're taking a bite of this nice dish and the rice is good and you got the great, just all the great flavors of a good pot of jambalaya, you're gonna get a little crunch from that celery. I just think that's really special. So right now, it's really simple. It's just a little patience. Um, this whole big pot heading down to the river. We've got our one propane burner. Gonna load up the truck like we do every year. And uh, so just gonna let this guy work. Um, once this goes and starts getting some color on the bottom of the pan, I'll add the veg and then we're gonna put this thing together and it's gonna go real fast. Be right back. All right, you take a look here. Of course, you gotta try it. It's got some color on the sausage. Mm. Breakfast is happening. Now I'm going to add my veg. Holy Trinity. Celery, peppers, and onions. Put all that in there. And most of the celery. I cut celery tops, I cut the whole thing. It's all just flavor, and it's all going the same place. Just about that much. Like I said, I'm gonna hold that back, and I'm gonna put that in right at the end just to stir in. And it's just gonna give a nice crunch, and when you're eating that bite, it's just texture. When you're cooking, you wanna use all your senses. Smell, taste, 
flavors, all that stuff. Your eyeballs, texture, mm, good stuff. So, stir this all in. Just gonna sweat this down because it's all gonna cook through real quick because it's all gonna boil down. So this is not gonna take long at all. It smells amazing already. And like I said, I'll chop that up. And uh, once my water's halfway reduced and my rice is almost done, I'm gonna throw that in. And uh, I've got one more uh, chicken thigh left from my smoked chicken from the other day. Chop that up, it's gonna add a little more smoky flavor. It's gonna be delicious, so uh, hang around. We're getting this done. Okay, so it's sweated down really nice. Took five minutes, I've got it up. I had it up a little higher than I normally cook. Look at the bottom of the pan, you wanna get all that good flavor off of there. And look at the color of that. Um, the peppers were frozen, so it's added some liquid, but that's just gonna help the rice cook, and that's all flavor. It's just soaking up all that sausage, and it's just amazing. So, real simple. In you go. In you go. In you go. So, give a little stir, mix it all up. Well, that sure is a lot of protein. Hey, we're feeding rugby players. Protein's good. So, this is actually a great dish. All you, if you, you're feeding lots of people, jambalaya is the way to go. And got my chicken ready to go, put in when it's when I when I want to put it at the end. This is that smoked chicken is gonna have that great flavor, and of course, my little bit of celery at the end just to add. So now I'm gonna turn it down. My two cup, two cup uh, Pyrex baking dish. One measuring cup. Baking dish, you know, hey, I gotta tell you people something. Rainy just made that coffee, and well, it's doing its job, people. That's two, so that's four. Ooh, he's gonna do math. <laughs> Eleven and niner. <laughs> All right, that's six cups, and the calls for two and a half per box. So let's see how we do, let's just go like this. So, I'm gonna give it one more stir just to get everything off the bottom. That looks like a lot of water. What are you looking for? None. <laughs> I can help you. There's no helping me, Rainy. I would wait. No, I'm just gonna add a little more rice. He's not a recipe follower, people, like me. Yep, that's what makes us a great team. <laughs> okay, so that's ready to go. Um, put that on there. I'm going to put it way down low. Now what? Where's my towel? Oh, there's another one down there. Let's grab this one. Clean off my mess. Look, work, look that worked really good. 9.22, I've got to leave here, about 40 minutes. Just about time that's gonna be done, I'll be driving down the road smelling jambalaya. Might take that wood spoon with me. Driving down the road, that'd be dangerous. All right, I'm taking these down. I'm just gonna burn these to help start the fire after we do the polar plunge and uh, waste not want not. Okay, so, when they cook jambalaya down south, you watch those guys or people, they got those big wooden spoons and they gotta do this forever. Come take a look at this. It has reduced down. You can tell by the rice, has soaked up all that flavor. This is going to get eight. A lot of happy people. So, that's really low. Now, we're just gonna add, this is that smoked chicken I was telling you about. In you go. This is all that nice broiled with the Cajun seasoning. Like I said, didn't touch a salt shaker today. There was no need. So that goes in. Now, so what I'm gonna take down with me is a bottle 
of Rainey's Hot Sauce. This is made from the peppers we grow in our own garden. What is it, vinegar, pepper, salt? Yeah, basically in garlic and black pepper. So that'll go down with us. And that this is made from the Fresno peppers, but we have cayenne pepper in there too, but it's really spicy. Look at this. And I don't know if people down there can handle the yeah. <laughs> that sauce. Look at that. But then you might have some takers. You might want to take it and see if there's someone that wants to try it. That's off. That's done. That there. And Mom will take that spoon with her. Jumble oh, I thought you were going to be using a spoon to eat it on your way down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to grab a spoon. I'm crazy not to taste it before I go. I'm just going to go with the rice and a little bit of celery. Don't want to burn my face off. Dave Portlake. It's good. Just let it cool. I said I'm gonna grab the other bottle of hot sauce. <laughs> it's got a warning. And see, it's got a blue rubber band. That's that's how you tell if stuff's hot. Bring those two down. Um, so I'm heading down the river. We're gonna set up. We're gonna have big fires going. In one of our big shelters at our local park. And uh, it's plunge day. It's Saturday. See you in a bit. Okay, we made it down to Louisville Park for our uh, polar plunge for the Clark County Chiefs Rugby Club. Uh, the hearth. Shout out to the Mariloma Mariloma Rugby Club of Vancouver, Canada. Up in Canada, you go to the rugby clubs and they have beautiful, beautiful rugby clubs with all the tradition of a, if you travel internationally, of a rugby club, all the pictures and everything. But on their hearth, it says, uh, this fire will not warm you if your heart is cold. And I've always remembered that. And so every time I see a nice big hearth like that, it reminds me of Mariloma up in Canada. Um, the pot of jambalaya down here. Staying warm by the fire. Um, the boys are all down stretching out, getting ready to play touch. And uh, we're gonna fire up a, we got a plancha over there, looks like. We're going to cook some burgers and you guys are gonna get to see all the carnage. Oh yeah, look at that. Looks like it's ready to go, huh? Just to blow that rust off and be good, eh? And uh, we're gonna do that polar plunge, see after a bit. Come with me. So the philosophy of a polar plunge. We've done this for many, many years. If you start with a little bit of clothes, you don't have to put a bunch on when you're soaking ass wet. So, and you kind of get to acclimate a little bit. So it's not a bad day for uh, January. <laughs> and the boys are all gonna get warmed up. Uh, I've got a little calf issue. So I'm just gonna leave my boots on. Um, but right over there, right over there is the river. And uh, the boys are all going to get nice and sweaty. Two brothers going out. That's a, there's a dad and two brothers right there. The Holtz. Ooh, nice dummy. Prop try. Prop try. All right, we're down at the river. Soon they'll be coming down for the uh, polar plunge. They're still way over there playing touch. But I thought I'd bring you guys down so you can see where they're going to be going in at. So they'll be coming down right here, going in right there.
picture next to her. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man, let's go. Hey, Bob and Pop, you got a free show. Everybody on the internet is paying 10 bucks a month for this on the OnlyFans. Hey, let's just cast. Let's go, let's go, bring it in! Come on, let's fucking do it! Bring it in! Do a picture. Do a picture. Yeah, we got Can we turn and do a picture while we're warm? Yeah. 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 Picture. I'm not standing next to Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Ye